Hey everyone, today I'm going to be seeing if I can actually make square water drops. So what I've done here is I've coated the entire sheet of stainless steel with an ultra super hydrophobic substance. And I've coated the entire area except for one area in the shape of a square. So what should happen here is the water should stick to the stainless steel very easily. And so it will spread out and wet the surface of the stainless steel. But for the super hydrophobic portion of the steel, it won't stick to it. It will beat up according to the surface tension of water and form an almost perfect sphere. Now let's color our water green so you can see it a little bit better. Okay, here we go. Let's pour the water on. Whoa, it's working. Look at those 90 degree angles and that perfect straight line down the sides of the square. Look how cool that is. You can make droplets that land on the super hydrophobic portion of the steel and then it just gets sucked into that square portion that doesn't have the coating. It looks almost like I have a piece of gelatin there, but it's actually liquid water. The more water you put in the square, the more curved the angles get at the edge of the square because it tries to curve around due to the surface tension of the water. But if you put too much on, the surface tension, the water can't keep the sides of the square up, and so it will eventually just pour over the side of the square. So basically, it's like you're overflowing your invisible container. And you can actually do this in any shape you want. For example, here's an A for the Action Lab. Look how cool that looks. Just put it on one droplet at a time and it just forms this perfect A. Now what's really cool about this, if you remember if you add soap to water, it changes the surface tension of the water. It actually lowers the surface tension. So that means we shouldn't be able to put as much water in our square or our A as before if we have soap on it. So we have our A here. Now watch what happens when I put a little bit of soap on my toothpick here and touch it to the liquid in the A. It's almost like it was this solid block A before and then once I put the liquid soap on it, it just melts it away. It's so cool. That's because the surface tension of the water was lowered so much so that it couldn't keep those edges up on the sides of the super hydrophobic surface and the steel. So look how much water it can hold on this square. But then when I put some soap on it, it just melts it away and it lowers that liquid level until the gravity can hold up at that lower surface tension. Hey everyone, now that was really cool. Thanks for watching again. And if you haven't checked out theactionlab.com to see the Action Lab experiment boxes, you can get the vacuum chamber box and the self-pouring fluid box. And if you haven't subscribed yet, consider subscribing and hit the bell so that you can be notified when I release my latest videos. And thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.